And how would, and uh, you guys get into a lot of trouble with feminists and feminism. How would you, mm. how, how will a feminist see this movie? Well, I think it's a very feminist film, actually. I think it, um, I was very influenced by, I mean, I guess, well, so I was very influenced by this case in Malaysia in like the 60s and 70s, I think, when there was sort of um, a phenomenon epidemic of like Malaysian female factory workers becoming like possessed by by demons oh. and sort of like convulsing on the factory floors and like disrupting production oh, wow. in this very like visceral way that was very informed by Malaysian culture prior to being industrialized. So in my film, without giving too much away, yeah, basically one of the female characters becomes sort of possessed by this um, pedophilic kind of entity. She develops this very like demonic infatuation with Prince Andrew. <laughs> um, and that to me felt like a kind of, um, it is feminist in a way because it's a kind of like embodied resistance to a kind of feminine experience of being preyed on sexually, mm -hmm. particularly by um, the elites. <laughs> okay. So is it, is it sort of a metaphor for that, for like class oppression? Well, I wouldn't say it's a metaphor because the Epstein stuff isn't a metaphor. Right. You know, it just, it just is um, a systematic oppression. I mean, he was a human trafficker. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> So there's so there's resistance going on in your film though by women, and it takes the form of this this possession though. The possession represents. It's a non-linear <laughs> resistance, and the film is also about a kind of futility. Okay. You know, in in confronting these ideas, and you know the cabal or whatever you want to call it. Um the ultimate, yeah, sort of futility of contending with that power structure. Oh, so, I mean, this sounds...